I just want to work more on why am I doing this? And that means why am I in these relationships with people? Why am I in my job? Why am I pursuing X, Y, Z? Like, I just want to know why. Hello, everyone. I feel like it's been a while since I made a video where I knew what I really wanted to talk about. Um... Thank you for anyone who is returning and welcome for anyone who is new. My name is Michelle and on my channel, I just share my thoughts about mental health and how it pertains to me, um, my overall well-being, how I deal with things, just journaling my life online, I guess. Um, and... I know for anyone who follows me on Instagram or TikTok, you've seen me have my little journey with not drinking. And let me see, what is today's date? Today's date is April 7th. So I had my last drink on March 3rd. So March 4th was my official start date of no drinking and it's april 7th so it's been a month and a few days um i'm just drinking some juice i made this morning it didn't come out really how i thought probably because i didn't let it get cold i'm gonna try it mm. wow this came out so good. So instead of using a cucumber or celery as a base, I used apples because I love apples. And then I put spinach. I added half of a lemon. I added um, some raspberries and blue blueberries and just a little bit of ginger. And it's good. Um, I'm just so nervous to talk only because I really have been feeling so disconnected from everything and everyone and just trying to figure out like what motivates me and why and how and yeah. <laughs> so the why, why am I not drinking? Why did I decide to stop drinking? And I'm sorry about my hair. It looks really bad. I was trying to correct it, like the color, and it, it's just so bad. Hopefully I can fix it by my birthday, but I really need to fix it today because I have to be, I just have so much to do for work and so to stay on track, um, the why for why I stopped drinking is that alcoholism and addiction um, is something that is like a generational problem in my family. Um, my mom was an addict and my grandmother was an alcoholic and I feel like, not to say like I'm breaking any generational curses, but I just wanted to to feel like I didn't end up on the same path, but just a different setting. So I'm a first generation college student and I know I already mentioned this in another video. I don't know, I just feel like my family, you know, they really see me as someone who's super successful or um, super responsible and in reality those same issues that i had when i was younger that i expressed to them i still had those issues they didn't go away i just learned to kind of suppress it and not bring it up around them because i knew that they didn't want to hear it or at least that's what it felt like when i was a child and now as an adult it's my responsibility to work on my own um issues my own trauma and not really have anyone else um, 
that I want to blame for that. I think that um, when it comes to alcohol, it is something that is so normalized, but it is also something that is very dangerous. Like alcohol can easily kill you. And when I think about the times that I should have had alcohol poisoning or that I did and I didn't like, you know, pass away, I'm still here. I'm, my birthday is next week. So it's just like, I want to honor my body and my soul and my spirit and do something that is, you know, different, if that makes sense. When you are someone that deals with depression and then you you combine it with drinking alcohol, which is also a depressant, it's just like, it's beyond that point of, um, I don't know, it's like, you're not really, you're not really living, you're not really feeling anything. Everything just feels like, I don't know, this temporary, I don't know. I just know that I've slowed down over the years, but I still had my moments, even in this past year where I'm like, ugh, I had su such a rough day, like, let me go for drinks. Um, And it just was never smart for me, it's like, I grew up poor, I'm still poor. And when I think about the amount of money I spend on alcohol as someone who like really struggle with it, like for me, when I drink alcohol, I can't be that person that has a drink or two and they feel satisfied like with casually drinking. Um, I'll keep going and then it's like, it's like my brain doesn't even say okay you're reaching your limit it's more like my brain is like we should just keep going and i don't think that that combination is good because i'm not going to say i was always aggressive when drinking but i definitely wasn't the best version of myself i wasn't a version of myself that i would be proud to like care about so when I was in college and I was drinking and be blacked out drunk and people telling me I did this, this, this. It's just like, it's not, I don't know, it's just, it's not cute. Um, also, I just think about my mind before drinking and how much I felt like I was able to accomplish. And also, I feel like, like alcohol is meant for you to be addicted to it and no one can convince me otherwise um i just feel like it's like a non-stop thing it just you just start off saying i'm gonna have a drink or two and then it's 10 and now you at the next spot getting 10 more and that's just me personally so i personally have a overall issue of self-discipline and like impulse control so that much I am willing to admit because it just ties into my mental health. But um, yeah, it's just me choosing what's best for me. And that's all. And I know that I will abuse alcohol. And until I get to a place where I want to understand why I do it, like besides it being, you know, um, passed down genetically, I just want to work more on why am I doing this? And that means why am I in these relationships with people? Why am I in my job? Why am I pursuing X, Y, Z? Like, I just want to know why. Because I've been living a life of doing things for other people to make them happy so that they can just, you know, leave me alone, get off my back. And for alcohol, that was like, I mean, sorry, for me with alcohol, it was just like something to turn to. Because I learned from a young age how rough life is.
I just used it to cope and I honestly used to be at this point where I could not express my feelings to anyone so even doing it on camera is like a little awkward for me but I'm working on it because if you don't share you know your story then people will never really know what others are going through and I don't know I feel like everyone should tell their story or talk about it or figure out like what motivates you for yourself so for me <laughs> I also used alcohol as a way to feel like I had money that I didn't have because people love you when you're buying alcohol you're buying drinks and whatever and I always wanted to be that person like oh come over let's have drinks like oh let's go out for drinks and it's like sweetie you need to stay home and save this money but honestly, I don't really believe in the whole, oh, you should be saving, da 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 because people should just get paid more. But that's just another video. Um, there's no groundbreaking reason why I'm not drinking besides the fact that I also have PCOS and insulin resistance. And I definitely don't want to end up with type 2 diabetes. Um... I don't even want to end up pre-diabetic and I also have an overgrown uterine lining so my uterine lining is at like 22 23 millimeters and on average women's are like four max seven so that is also affecting my health as well and drinking alcohol I feel like would just that's really it um it's not been so bad because like i said in my other video addressing this i really wanted to try to focus on health itself so i've been trying to juice and see how i feel like with adding that to my already whatever plan meals i have and that's all i'm just trying to see like why I was so afraid to be sober. Um, yeah. If you want to continue to watch my journey, then please make sure that you like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in my Friday video, which will be my first social psych talk. And social psych talks are just, it's just gonna be me talking about how the social things that happen um, now, like in, in American culture, how it kind of shapes our mental health. So when you think about um, like racism on social media or like um, performative, what's the word? I don't even know the word, but <laughs> you will see me post the thumbnail probably today or early tomorrow but the video will be out tomorrow. So I'll see you in the next one. Bye.